Hi Year 3, today we are going to be using some simple materials you have at home to make our own compass. Now if you've never used a compass before, compass is a device which helps us to work out where we're going and I've got one here on um, my phone and we can use it to find north. And no matter how I move this compass around, you can see the numbers changing at the bottom, it's the arrow for north is always pointing upwards because in my um, house north is always going that way going up okay because my uh, french windows point um, north so we're going to be making a compass and you're going to need just some simple materials that you should have lying around at home so i know from your teachers that you have been learning all about magnets and every magnet as you know has a north seeking pole and a south seeking pole just like our planet earth which is a bit like a giant magnet it has a north pole and a south pole and you probably also know that if you bring two magnets together the north of one pole is going to attract the south of the pole of the other magnet and this is why compasses like the one on um, the one that we're going to make uh, why they work on earth so the Earth's magnetic field is strong enough to make the North Pole of a very light compass needle line up with the magnetic South Pole of the planet. Hmm, that sounds strange. I just told you that compasses always point north. I was a bit confused when I got to that bit of the instructions because I never realised that the Earth's geographic North Pole and its magnetic North Pole are at opposite ends of the planet. So the South Magnetic Pole is actually up at the North Pole and the Magnetic North Pole is actually down where our South Pole is. So that's a cool fact you can wow everyone with. So the Geographic North Pole up in the Arctic is our Magnetic South Pole and our Magnetic North Pole is where the South Pole is in the Antarctic. Try not to think too hard about that otherwise it's really easy to get confused. So that's what this is but it's why when we make a compass our compass always points towards the geographic north. That's our magnetic south remember and we can use that to know where north is and if we know where north is we can use that information to work out where we're going. Helps us not to get lost. So to make your compass, you are going to need a cereal bowl, just like this one. Um, if you've got a, a white one, again. it's... Could you try again? My phone is uh, joining in our lesson. Ignore that. I didn't catch that. Could you try again? So we've got our cereal bowl. We have got some water in the jug. I've got a sewing needle you could use a paper clip if you don't have a sewing needle i've got some fridge magnets that's what these ones are here any old fridge, mag fridge magnet from the front of your fridge should work and to make this work a little bit easier you're going to need a straw plastic straw works fine so does a paper straw like this one so the first thing that we're going to do is i'm going to pour some water into our bowl you don't need to fill it all the way up. There's about halfway up. That'll do just fine. Next, I'm going to take my magnet and I'm going to take my needle. And this is the really important bit. You need to rub your needle with the magnet. And I'm going to do that several times in the same direction, just to be certain it's worked. Now all the instructions say that you can lay your needle on top of the water. Now I tried this lots of times and I failed miserably every time but it also said that the little trick to help this work is to get a little piece of straw. Now, this piece of straw is just ever so slightly bigger than my needle and I'm going to slot my needle inside my um, straw. I'm going to lay my straw in my bowl and watch what happens. 
You see it's moving? I'm not touching that. I'm not doing anything to it. And it's turning round to face north. Now my phone with the compass on it has gone off. But if you remember, I said that pointing that way was north in my house. So just to prove it wasn't me, I'm going to turn this away from north and let's see if it will move back all on its own. Now, oh, isn't that cool? Okay. So with some simple household equipment, you can make yourself a compass. I would love to see how you get on. So give this a go. You can tell um, us all about it. I'm on Twitter or you can use Seesaw or the work at parklandsleads.org.uk email address to tell us all about how you get on. We'd love to see any photos you take, um, any videos you take as well, and hope you have lots of fun. Thank you, Year 3. Bye from Miss Hattersley.